Hey, it's Mike again, and thanks for joining me on this third uh, video on CSS. This time we're going to look at colors. Uh, I know in the previous video I was playing with colors, colors but I didn't explain them uh, in that instance because we were just uh, adding CSS uh, to our HTML. So here we go. Uh, for this video, we want to understand our options when we're adding colors and then how to add the colors to HTML elements and we'll, uh, in doing so, we'll look at text or font colors and also background colors. Okay, so uh, we're going to do a bit of coding very shortly, but let's have a look at the colors themselves. We do have quite a few options here. Um, there's sort of an old fashioned way when there's only a few colors available on the internet, uh, and that was using color name. Uh, and uh, in my previous video, I chose red and blue and green these all work but effectively they're sort of basic uh, basic web uh, web friendly colors i don't use uh, use those uh, very much at all i use either rgb uh, rgba or hex codes so let's have a look at those what does rgb stand for well funnily enough it stands for red green and blue um, and we type it with rgb and then we put parentheses and three values. Now the three values, the first one is the red value, then the green value, then the blue value. Uh, zero is uh, sort of the, uh, the lowest and 255 is the highest. So if you can imagine in this video here, I've got RGB 00255 against uh, red, green, and blue, um, respectively. So, what color do you think RGB 00255 is going to be? Yep, it's blue. Okay, uh, if you chose uh, red or green, they're going to be zero. Uh, so, 255 is the maximum blue color you can get, or blue uh, uh, numeric, if you like. Then, uh, there's a sort of an alternative to RGB, it's very, very similar, but it adds an alpha on the back, so it's known as RGBA. Uh, so let's have a look at the RGBA. In this instance, within the sort of brackets, there are four values this time, not just three. The first three are exactly the same as RGB. So in this instance, 0, 255, and 0. What color do you think uh, that's going to produce? 0, 255, and 0. Hopefully you've guessed it's going to be green, uh, and it is. So what we're doing with this by adding an alpha value, and the highest alpha value is 1 and the lowest is 0, is adding some transparency to it. Um, so if you put 1 there, it's not transparent at all. If you put 0, it's probably, well, we'll have a look at that. We'll have a look uh, playing at that. It, it just could, <laughs> that could disappear in total. Uh, but I'll just point, uh, put point, point 0.5 there as the middle value, and we'll have a look at that in a moment. Okay, uh, and then the fourth uh, method of uh, adding color is using hex codes, uh, and with hex codes we use the hashtag and then six values. Uh, the lowest values are zero, and the highest values are Fs. Uh, and what you can see here is it's slightly like RGB. So the first two is the R, the second two is the green, and the last two are the blue. So uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, F, F. I will uh, put my sort of uh, bottom dollar on the fact that that is going to be the same as my RGB color above 0, 0, 2, 5, 5. And we can have a look at that in a moment when we code. So how do we uh, add color to things like text and headings and paragraphs and lists? Well, uh, just by using the American spelling color, so color, uh, C-O-L-O-R, then uh, colon, and then the, uh, the value, if you like, in this uh, instance, gray for the H1. Uh, you can see on the sort of paragraph tag, if you like, it's color again uh, with no U, then hashtag 404040. Now, uh, this hashtag is a, it's a hex code uh, because the red value is the same as the green, is the same as the blue. Uh, yeah, the first two, the second two, and the third two. 
uh, I can guarantee that's going to be some sort of grey. So if they're all the same uh, value, it's going to be grey. Just like the bottom one, in this instance, I've used colour with no U, uh, colon, RGB, uh, red, green, blue, 40, 40, 40, and then uh, don't forget that semicolon at the end because that's really important too. And then in this instance, again, because all the values are all the same, I reckon it's going to be grey again. Okay, so that's adding colour. So C O L O R, uh, colon, and ending in the semicolon. Background colour is very similar. Okay, but we just put background hyphen colour, um, and that's all you need to know for now. Background hyphen colour. So hey, let's uh, let's do some coding and let's see how we get on here. Yeah? Okay, so as usual on the left hand side, I've got my text Wrangler text editor, and on the right hand side, I've got a blank uh, web page at the moment. So all I'm going to do is type an H1 tag. So uh, just gives it gives us something uh, to color. Now within the head section, you will note that I've got a link to my style sheet, which is uh, a file called admi.css. And if you saw the previous video, you know about admi.css, uh, and that is my blank file um, just there, ready to be filled in. So. Uh, what are we going to do? Let's add some uh, some color first using the uh, normal color thing. So over here, I'm going to target the H1 element. H1 curly brackets and close curly brackets, and then type the American spelling of color. Put a colon, then a semicolon, and then go back. And I'm going to spell gray in uh, American uh, spelling as well. I just want to make sure that that's saved. I'm coming over to my browser now and I'm going to uh, hit refresh and funnily enough you get a big H1 and it funnily enough is grey. So that's uh, that's good. So that's hex codes. Now I'm going to come back to um, what I was thinking about doing. Oh, I'll do that. Just, um, so uh, that is uh, just using color and the color name. Now, what I'm going to do is use uh, a hex code. So I'm going to target the same H1. Color. And, you know, we were talking about those, uh, that hex, hex code. If they're all the same, 40 for the red, 40 for the green, 40 for the blue. Um, and I'm not going to save anything yet. What I just want to do is um, comment out, and you haven't heard me use that phrase before, comment out, which means I want to get rid of some, keep some code on my file, but get rid of it uh, within the link. So I'm going to uh, hit X and command V. So um, what I've done here, uh, within CSS, it's... Uh, forward slash star or asterisk and then at the end asterisk forward slash um, and so on so what I'm just about in fact I've, if I just put that asterisk right at the end I've commented out all my CSS so when I hit save come over to my browser the heading should be black and it is okay but I, that's just proving that the comment works so I'm going to just comment out that sort of top bit, and you can see this code has now sort of covered itself in. Uh, I'm going to hit save, and now uh, what I'm doing is using the hex code, come over to uh, the browser, and I've hit return, and you see if I zoom in, it's slightly grey. What I'll do, uh, I'll just change the numbers, I'll go 70, 70, 70, click add, and that dark gray should go lighter. And there you go, you saw it go lighter there. 
So, uh, so that's, uh, that's pretty neat. That's hex codes. Uh, I'm just going to comment that out. So bring that code down a bit. These comments are really quite good actually when you're sort of coding an application because uh, you can code out or comment out stuff and see if uh, you've got it back to original if there was any errors or anything. So now I've got H1. Previously we did uh, the hex code. Now I'm going to go RGB. Okay, so just RGB and let's go uh, hundreds, 100, comma, 100, comma, 100. Now again, oh no, in fact, let's go 255 because you, you, I asked you to uh, guess what the 255 meant. So we're, we're going to have 00255 RGB, red, green, blue. So it should be 255 blue things. Okay, so I'm going to hit save and this heading should turn blue. Ta -da. Okay, so that's, uh, that's really neat. And I did give you another sort of little quiz earlier on. This is, I'm going to just comment that one out as well. Okay, and what I'm going to do is copy that one and we're going to go RGBA. And I'm going to change oops, the end uh, N255 to the middle 255. So uh, what do you think is going to happen here? What color is it going to be? Well, I reckon it's going to be green. So red is zero, green is lots, uh, blue is zero. Now I've added this one, okay? And that is 100% uh, or, you know, so yeah, maximum uh, op opacity. So I'm going to hit save. I'm going to hit refresh and you can see it's this gopping green. So that's horrible green. Let's add some red to it. Let's go 100 red. Oh, let's go 200, 200 red. I'm going to add some blue. I don't know what color I'm going to get. But oh, okay, I'm going to reduce the green now. What a shocking color. I'm going to get 125. Uh, I'm just playing around with the colours here. Okay. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we've got now, uh, a brown colour now made up of 200 red, 125 green, and, 20, uh, and 50 blue. Now, because it's RGBA, um, and there's A here, uh, I'm going to change. So I'm going to go 0.8 for now instead of 1. Let's see what happens to the colour and refresh you can see it's gotten a bit lighter uh, and effectively i'm uh, uh, increasing its uh, transparency i'm going to go 0.5 and effectively we, we'll be able to see through that i've gone lighter again now remember uh, when i was talking earlier on i thought mm, what happens if you go zero so i'm going to go zero on the a bit okay uh, and i'm expecting it just to disappear well, it has. Right? So let's bring it back slightly, 0.1, and refresh. Whoopsie daisy, I put the, <laughs> I put the, put the 0.1 on the wrong side of the bracket. Uh, so let's go 0.1. Still can't see anything. And oh, 0.1, I put 0.01. You saw that, didn't you? And you didn't tell me. So there's point. There's point, uh, one. You can just about see it, 0.2. I'm going to hit refresh. It's coming back to life. 0.3. So you can see you can play around with uh, with with your colours in many ways. Uh, 0.4. I'm going to hit refresh there. So what have we done? We've seen H1 by just naming uh, naming the colour. Then we looked at hex codes. Then we looked at RGB. And that's nice. And then we looked at RGBA, which gives it some transparency. And you can see that here on the left hand side of the screen. So what I just like to do now is go back. Well, come on. Um, just go back to my slides. OK. I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm just a dude who loves coding and loves to try to teach people how to do the same. All right. So these are some um, I'm going to the Internet. Now, just to show you, palaten.com and colorhunt.co, okay? Because 
both of these websites provide really good uh, color resources, if you like. So this is Parton.com. So what happens here is on the left-hand side, there's this sort of circular wheel, and you can see what when I move the selector around, you can see what's happening on the right-hand side. You can see all these different colors of red. Okay, um, uh, and then what you can do is click blue or green or there's another green, and you can shift this circle around, and you can see all the colors changing. Uh, but of course, if you just got <laughs> if you got a website just with these like shitty yellows and browns, it's not going to look very attractive for your users. So along here, you can probably hardly see it. You might as well uh, perhaps go to their website afterwards. Um, what I'm doing now is uh, choosing three points or four different colors. Yeah, and you can whiz these things around, but it's looking a bit dark, so I'm going to make it a bit lighter. And now what? is happening on the right hand side that you're looking for complementary colors okay uh, and when you find one you like i'm going to choose an orange uh, just because i can let's uh, let's get a bright orange and um, so let's say uh, i'm going to choose that orange there so if i click on it uh, if i'm going to click on that then then down here somewhere it's got the hex code in fact there it is uh, the base um, the base code so um, when you click around there the hex code uh, changes um, and so on so sounds yeah it's, sort of, it's a nice nice website for messing around with colors and choosing them for your websites but recently because I was updating my website I wanted to have a new look and feel I found colorhunt.co uh, and here there's lots and lots of different palettes um, and yeah this one here this maroon and blues looks nice but if you hover your mouse over the maroon then the blue uh, and the lighter blues you can see the, the hex code uh, turn up and if you click on that hex code or that one it copies it to your clipboard so then all you have to do is copy it into your um, into your uh, into your CSS so that's, uh, that's Color Hunt. I am not sponsored by these guys. I just find their uh, website looking really nice uh, and so on. So uh, Powerton and uh, Color Hunt. Uh, so back to the learning objectives. What were we going to learn? Well, we're going to learn the options of uh, sort of what colors and how, how to use them uh, and to add color to fonts and text and all that sort of thing. And then also background colors. And we looked at both of those uh, using uh, color names, using hex codes, using RGB and RGBA. Now, uh, some of the sort of newbies and new hands will say, hey, there's another one, there's another one, it's called HSL. Uh, yep, uh, there is. I haven't used it. I don't think there's any point yet. But in time, HSL is uh, hue, saturation, and light. It works exactly like um, sort of RGB with three um, uh, three alphanumerics within uh, within brackets. You can check it out, uh, Google HSL color uh, uh, and so on. But for me personally, RGB, RGBA, and hex is good enough. So hey, thanks so much for watching. This is Mike. Check it out. See you in the next one.